Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with episode, I want to say 11 on the Tazcraft server. I'm checking in. That was an absolute complete guess, and I actually got it right, so pretty proud of myself. Um, now, we're actually in a new place that you guys might not recognize right off the bat. Um, I don't think I've actually ever shown it. This is our new mine, um, and I wanted to make this mine super, super cool because I've always wanted to have like a really nice functional mine. I know that sounds weird, but I always have just really wanted to like redstone a mine and like make it nice and perfect and easy. Um, so how this one's going to work is basically what I'm planning is obviously I made the whole entrance and whatnot nice in the room. It's not like the best design I've done, but like it's fine. It'll do. Uh, so what I really want to add though is basically like this row of chests. Uh, one row where we can just put stuff in and store it. Uh, but then I want like a row of chests where basically it just gets picked up by a hopper minecart. Um, and it's taken it up into our main storage system that we'll hopefully be making in a later episode. Uh, so that's what my plan for today, is to kind of get this mine at least looking good, at least adding in a few chests, and at least adding um, a minecart that picks up stuff. It's obviously not going to be going anywhere, but that's fine for now. Um, and then I also do just really want to work on my base. I've been having a lot of inspiration for working on it. Um, and the main thing that I want to do is over here where we added the koi fish last episode. I just want to add some nice structures around it. Um, just some like platform viewing areas and stuff like that. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how much we actually get through today. Uh, but it should be a pretty cool eventful episode. So let's get started. Now these are completely normal chests. These I'm just putting stuff in and keeping it here. But these on the other hand are still completely normal chests. Um, but soon enough they will be special chests that whenever I put anything in here it will immediately be taken up by a minecart up into my storage system. Just so you guys know our storage system, I'm kind of figuring out where that might go. Um, it's either going to go right behind our koi fish or it's going to go on top of our koi fish. I don't want to block the view of our koi fish from above because that's the nicest place to be when looking at them. Um, but also if we put it on top of our koi fish pond, then we can just have a glass floor. You'll be able to see it actually a really good view of it. So we might just end up doing that. Um, but we'll see as time goes on. So I'm gonna uh, get some mine carts and put them in the ground, I think. I think that'll be the easiest way to do this. It's that. a secret base. It's not actually, it's my mine. It's at least my future oh. mine. Okay, so we need six Ooh, more. Are we making something today? Uh, we are. So basically, these chests here, nothing special about them. And nothing will okay. be special about them. These okay. chests over here, however. These chests over um, here. Completely in special, nothing special about them. Oh. Okay. But soon enough, um, basically anything placed into these chests uh, will be going to my storage system that will be at my base. That's super cool. Here, I gotcha. <laughs> I never set my spawn. Jeez, dude. Yeah. Oh, wait, I've actually, no, I haven't set my spawn. I'm oh. really low. I'm really low. <laughs> Okay, Can, well, I'm literally, I'm not doing anything. What, 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 what? <laughs> uh, you're here for emotional support? Wait, wait, wait. Actually, if you do want to be of service to me, what I need you to do is basically, I'm making a hop hopper minecart rail, right? I need you yeah. to dig underground to that point right there, except maybe lower. So take you that- You mean start there. Start there, dig to here. Oh dear. Okay, wait. It's Cam, how fancy should I get here? Fancy. I mean, uh, define. Okay, literally, <laughs> I don't want to change these blocks to hoppers, so we're going to make a hopper minecart trail like this. So what I, what's happening here is basically I want to keep uh, this block a uh, dark prismarine uh, instead of having that hoppers. So basically what we're, we're doing is we're basically pushing the blocks so that the minecart hoppers are inside of it. That way um, the hoppers can still pick it up from there. Uh, and then from there, it will basically just run into an automatic uh, sorter with the hopper minecarts. I'm using a lot of hopper minecarts here, uh, which is very expensive and very suckish to work with. Uh, but it should at least look very, very nice. <laughs> that for now, thank you so much, Cam, for helping me out. Uh, Dude, so yeah, no we'll problem. continue that later on. But anyways, I think that we're going to move away from the mine for a little bit and instead work on the glass um, bit that's basically going to be looking down on top of this thing. Uh, so I don't know how exactly high we want to go. If I can make this jump, that would be delightful. We got it, we got it, we got it. Uh, so we want it to, we want to make sure they can see it all nicely and clearly. Um, but we also don't want it to be too high because then I have to build a lot around it. 
I'd say that it's probably a good height. I think right there should do. So now we'll basically just make this uh, circle right here. Uh, but of course, all made out of glass so that you can see through. But after actually quite a bit of time, it took a while to get all the glass melted and whatnot, even with the big super smelter that we have at spawn, uh, I was able to cover this whole place with glass now. Uh, so this is just the exact circle um, that this pond follows. And I think it looks pretty good. Um, it's nothing too special yet, but we will be adding some nice supports and whatnot uh, that will make it, you know, hold it up nicer and whatnot. Where is the skeleton dying? What? Ah, I see. Oh my god! Ah, ah! Ow, ow, ow! I went out, I went out, I went out! Cover that up, cover that up! <laughs> I don't have- I don't have enough blocks! <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Are we about to go on a monster hunt? Uh, do you wanna just have a sneak peek? Yeah. Over here. What's up? Yeah, I kinda forgot. I didn't- I didn't light this place up. Oh, wow. But yeah, like I was saying, so we're gonna add some nice supports, whatnot. We're gonna like cover this up in like a sort of, I don't wanna say dome sort of thing, but it'll, it'll have like some nice ceiling stuff. It's not just gonna be like open. Um, it should be looking kind of cool once I'm done with it. Uh, and then from there, we're gonna expand out and do like little buildings and cities and skyscrapers and whatnot. And it only took me a few seconds to get a nice little structure up. Uh, so basically we just need some support on this glass piece. Obviously we don't want it just floating. This actually has a tube in the middle of it, which will connect to the railroad track, or uh, the minecart track uh, that's down there that leads all the way to our mine. Uh, so that's how it's going to get to our storage system is through this thing right here. Um, but of course we're going to have actually one of these things on all four sides. Uh, I was also thinking about making something on the diagonals, um, but that might be a little bit tricky and I'm not too comfortable in working on diagonals yet. Um, so we'll see, we'll see if we actually get to that, but we're definitely going to do it on three different sides. Once again, I forced my friend Cam into helping me, uh, clone this tower three more times. Um, and let's just say it didn't go too well. How do we recreate this? I'm, I'm doing my best. Yeah, you're kind of a psycho. Are those stairs? What? What did- Hmm? Okay. Okay. Wait. Oh no! Uh, what did I do? What? What? No. Nope. No, I don't think that's um, right. I, I, I know. I don't know. You left the game. I know. I don't know. <laughs> Your help is greatly appreciated, dude. I think that means that we're finished. Okay. Dude, I think we're done. Yay! I have towers. Ooh. Aston, look at my towers. Look who? Ooh. And I also helped. Credit me. Credit me. Credit me. And Cam helped. Good job, Cam. I will take a stack of sea lanterns. Okay, that's I'll take fair. another stack of this stuff. Ooh, and I'll take this. Then we're good. You want to keep the whole shulker box? Ah! Uh, that's kind of what I figured. So now that we have the towers up, I'm actually getting started on the storage system itself. Uh, so we're actually just placing in hoppers right now. We already got all the chests in. I'm hoping that this is enough storage. Uh, I, I honestly don't know, but it's not a big deal if it's not. Um, we can always just have like random chests in different places and whatnot. Um, but for like the main things that I'll be coming to my base for, like this is where it will be, and we'll know that. So now the next step is to basically just place in all the hoppers and then place in all the things that actually, all the redstone that allows this to be an auto uh, storage system. And then, yeah, basically the last part would be to hook up that minecart rail over there, and then also just put items in the actual hoppers so that. Uh, the store system knows what to filter out. I kind of just ended up getting on call with some of my friends, and after not that long, I actually got in all the redstone for our so storage system, and I also already have 64 hoppers, so we can basically finish this off in like 5 minutes. It really took more like 40 minutes instead of 5 minutes because I realized that hoppers are extremely expensive, uh, but luckily we actually have access to Zix's iron farm so it was really easy to get all these hoppers. I just had to make a few trips back and forth, uh, but yeah, here we go. This is basically all done. We have to place in the items um, that we want to go into each chest, and then we also have to place in these placeholder blocks that basically um, just make it so nothing else is able to go into that hopper. But that shouldn't be too difficult. I probably just have to rename more of these sandstone blocks. Uh, but yeah, I think I'll get on top of that right now. So for now, I've created it so that I've filled up basically all of these hoppers. Uh, which means that items cannot get through anywhere over here. 
Um, and that was purposeful, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically put a few items that I know where I want to put them and what they are. So for example, sandstone, stone, cobblestone, whatnot is going to go in these chests. Uh, and I'll go, I'll place those in manually and whatnot. And then I'm basically going to take most of my storage down there and anywhere else. And then I'll just put it up into here and anything that pops up in here that I'm like, oh, that's a lot. Um, this is the chests that carry all the items that don't have a proper place, by the way. Uh, items that we start to see stacking up, you know, like a ton of, will start making their own chests in here and let them properly file through. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. This is surprisingly easy to make once you have all, like, infinite amount of iron and wood. <laughs> that's basically all there is in here, and then a little bit of redstone. Also, future editor me just wanted to let you guys know that actually I ended up just placing in blocks and I just continued to go and just continued to add more. Because uh, there's always more in my ender chest and my regular chest in my base back, like my old base, my starter base. Uh, and yeah, most of these chests are actually filled up now, uh, which is a little bit nerve wracking honestly because uh, I obviously don't want all these to fill up so fast. Um, but also we got most of our basics in here and we can always take out like a few things like kelp red dye, stuff like that, like we're not going to use that a ton, uh, but yeah, it's really it's so much fun to use. Uh, and then also if we go back over here, I finally started to add in all the stuff that actually makes this work uh, with the rail going all the way to our storage system. Uh, so now let's say if we take this stone for example and we place it in here, it'll be taken up really fast and if we actually take a little sneak peek down here, there's the minecart and it's all hooked up and everything. Uh, so if we just wait for it, it's a decent distance, so it takes some time for it to actually get to our storage system. Uh, but it's really not that bad. So it's at 26 right now. Now one problem is that it does take a long time sometimes, um, because the Minecraft is not actually loaded. Uh, but if you just go back and forth a few times, eventually the Minecraft will get here, it will unload. And now you can see that we have 53 stone, which it works perfectly, and I'm so happy it does. Uh, but anyways, guys, that's all I have time for today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope that you guys all had a really Merry Christmas. Um, and yeah, I just want to give you guys a heads up that um, my channel is actually going to be getting some changes soon. Um, and I might not be doing as much Minecraft, uh, but I'm just going to I'm just going to try a few things. So look out for that. Um, maybe the next video I post on this channel is going to be something just a little bit different. Let me know what you think. Uh, but yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Before I go, check out Sticky Piston. Yeah! Sticky Piston is the Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out.